Hello guys, I'm back again. I hope you're doing great. Myself, I'm doing fine. Thank you so much for your support and also watching these videos. And let's dive into the video. Today, as you can see, I want just to do a quick answer regarding the DS-260 form. And this is because one of you asked this question and it's so critical that you should know this. And for you who are waiting for the results that is about to come, that are about to be out, this point will also be beneficial to you. So let me answer it as early as now, but I'll also tackle it as we fill in the DS-260 form practically. And the question goes, on that part where I'm asked about have I any vaccination record or documents? That part that requests you if you have been vaccinated according to the U.S. regulations or if you have not, what are you supposed to check there? This point is very critical and listen carefully. On that question that requires you to answer whether you have undergone the vaccinations as required by the United States government, on that question, the correct answer and the solid answer that you should put there, you should select, yes, you have. Get me clearly. You select, yes, you have. And why am I saying so? Because I know majority of you, if not all of you, that have applied for the DV lottery and you have won, not all of you have been through the vaccinations that are required by the United States government because you're coming from different countries. That's for sure. And you may be asking yourself, why should I select, I have them yet I don't have, or others are mixed up. If I select no, I might end up losing my visa, of which is true. If you select no, you will not get visa approval. So why am I saying that you should select that you have the full vaccinations according to the United States regulations? It's because these questions will be reviewed, especially by KCC and also during the interview. After KCC has gone through the information and during the interview, these questions apply for those periods. So the question, I repeat, applies during the interview. So it's like they are asking you, by the time you're going for the interview, will you have gone through all the vaccinations required by the United States regulations. So by the time of the interview, will you have gotten all the vaccinations? That is simply the paraphrasing of that question. And therefore, at this point, even if you don't have those vaccinations, you select yes, simply because when you receive your second notification letter, there is the point and the aspect that you are required to fulfill visiting the specified medical facility for medical examination. And what is the point of medical examination? It is to examine whether you have fulfilled all these vaccinations. And if they find out you have not fulfilled them, what are they required to do? They are required to administer those vaccinations. And before you go to the interview, this is what happens. And that means when you get to the interview, you will already have gotten all the vaccinations. That's a lengthy explanation because I know you need to understand that. So you select yes because prior to your interview, you will have gotten all those vaccinations during the medical examinations. And thank you so very much, you that asked this question, because through your question, you've helped a lot of people. Thank you, guys. Please, if you have not, subscribe to the channel. But if you have, thank you so much. Like the video. And let's meet in the next video.